What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be pulling out the radio, uh, the dashboard, and the blower motor and heater core assembly. Check it out. Radio and center AC vents come out with uh, eight screws, three on this side, two on the bottom, and then three on the, far, on the driver's side, identical to this. So with those eight bolts out, should just be able to pull it right out clock will want to stay it kind of slides back a little bit but there we go got the radio out got some stuff to clean up I can finally fix my clock with the bent second hand so that's good and next the rest of the dash okay guys so I've already removed uh, the radio and some of the AC stuff right here um, now I'm gonna pull off the dash I think I have it loose um, it's really only one bolt right here uh, one bolt to the opposite side um, and then three across the top oh they're all 12 millimeter um, so let's see how this goes I'm sure I'm gonna be hung up by a bunch of electrical and stuff but uh, we'll deal with that once we get this thing loose Here we go. A little worm this thing out here. Oh, come on. Oh, look at that. There's one more. Holding on. Oh, but it's an easy one. Oh, thank you. Again, I like most of these connectors are great. <sighs> Woo! That's the dashboard out of the Subaru. <sighs> I don't have to be on my back so much. That's great. Boy, do I have some cleaning to do. So to remove the dash, like I said, it's going to be three across the top of the dash that are visible through the windshield. Uh, they're visible from inside the car too, but they kind of dip down a little. Um, there are two uh, on either side under the dash, really easy to find. Um, and then there's about, let's see, one, two, three, four, four electrical connect <coughs> connections and the um, speedometer connection. So, <clears throat> fairly easy. Um, ideally, you don't have mystery dirt coming out of your ventilation system down in your face while you're doing it. But, uh, yeah, not, not too bad. Um, I've removed insanely more difficult dashes. So, for it to come out in one piece with just uh, five bolts and about five connectors, got to love it. This is the connection that I mentioned uh, was a little different. Um, it looks like there might not be an easy way to pull it off at first glance, but it's really just three little tabs that you got to pry back that snap in around this collar here. So uh, I'll show you the other side. All right, guys, this was the connector that gave me a really hard time. I don't know why, but that thing was, was tough. Uh, easy right here just to pull out just to pull out this one is a little tight um, and you just got to pinch these guys but uh, overall it came loose once to give it a good little tug um, so four connectors there the one I mentioned that goes to the back of the speedometer uh, you just have to pry these little three tabs out of that collar uh, a little flathead uh, no problem there and then you've got the fifth that are caught at the end there. Luckily, that was just a quick pull out as well. Okay, so now that the dash is out of the way, the radio controls and stuff are out of the way, um, your main things that are holding this on are going to be a bolt right here, or a nut right here, a nut right here, and then two nuts down in here. Uh, Aside from that, I think the last thing I'll have to do is unhook the um, 
the uh, coolant piping to the heater core. And then uh, just a heads up, it's gonna feel like there's still something holding this on. But what it is, is this is like, I don't know if it was um, glued on or if this was just kind of some kind of really sticky foam. Right now it's just kind of crusty. But I had to give this kind of just, I just had to trust that I knew I got everything. And I had to pull this thing hard and it came undone from, from here. And you can see, maybe you can see in the video, it was glued or this was some kind of like double-sided sticky. It was some sort of gasket here with some foam on it. Um, so that was I had to give it a really good tug to pull that off. So you might think there's still something holding on, but now the only thing that's got this thing connected to the car now is the coolant. So I'm gonna unhook that. Hopefully it doesn't make too much of a mess. And then uh, then I will have the inside of the car just about 100% dismantled so that I can start scraping all this crap and uh, you know getting it ready to do a liner. So, cool. All right guys, so I'm underneath the steering wheel right now. Uh, it's kind of hard to see from that last angle, but this is uh, where the heater hose pipes come in. Um, so I'm gonna be undoing this screw and this screw and hopefully getting those pipes off. Sorry about the focus there. So, um, so yeah, like I said, on the back side, I got this clamp, this clamp. I'm gonna be pulling those off and that should free the whole blower motor heater core assembly up. Um, we'll see if it makes a big mess. I got some old shirts and stuff down here just in case. Uh, but yeah, let's get it off and get it out. Oh, there we go. All right, that's a much better angle. has come off peacefully and cleanly. Nope. Not without a fight. Oh, they're on there. All right, guys. I decided there's not a lot of hose to work with under here. And, uh, yeah, there's two sides to every hose, right? So I went and disconnected under the hood. We're gonna try to pull the whole thing out through the firewall. How about that? It was much easier to disconnect it from the engine. So, oh yeah, look at that. No mess either. Well, a little bit under the engine. I'm just not leave anything out. So those two hoses were connected right here and right here, and they go through the firewall right here. I spray the hoses down with some PB just so it slide out easy like you saw. And we were in business much easier than fighting three inches of hose under a dashboard. Oh, look at that inside that hamster wheel. Previous occupants, the field mice, very, very dirty. I'll be happy knowing that this will be all cleaned out new whenever I'm using it in the car someday. All right guys, so there it is with everything out. Um, not too bad of a job, honestly. Uh, could be a lot better if it wasn't full of uh, field mice stuff. But uh, next steps will be just stripping everything down, getting it all taped and masked and prepped for a uh, liner. All right, so there you have it. Pretty simple overall. Um, happy with how easy it was, didn't break anything. So. That's always good. Next step's going to be to clean out everything under that dash, clean out that ventilation system. Um, and then we're going to start taping everything up, getting everything scraped and prepped for a uh, Coda Raptor liner on here. So looking forward to that. So stay tuned.